Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, the ferry scenario. And I'm just looking around at the sheer amount of ferries that we have going backwards and forwards here. It's nuts. There is so many. I don't know how many individual ferries that we've got. But by the way, still a bit full of cold in case you're wondering why my voice sounds weird. Yeah, there's so many and I'm just enjoying watching my city come to life with so much stuff happening. People taking the monorails there they go jumping on the buses and all of it going to ferries that's what we want to see because we are not that far off there we go there goes a monorail oh let's have a look over here actually we are not that far off from completing this scenario in fact i'm pretty sure this will be the final episode of this little mini series of this scenario and then we're going to move on to the last scenario that was added in uh, in the new um, mass transit DLC and that is the one to do with trains but we'll get to that at the end but I'm really loving the city that we've built here I think it looks fantastic it looks really cool and I, I love it I'm loving the ferries I, I've really enjoyed the fact that we've had to basically push things as much as possible to use the ferries rather than you wouldn't normally have this many ferries would you <laughs> you know normally you might have a little ferry trip here you know make it look nice go around. we've like forced it you've got to use the ferry to get anywhere and it's worked really well let's take a look what we're up to i mean we're well over the twenty-five thousand people now twenty-seven thousand and growing One hundred eighty-eight thousand. i mean we're not that far off from hitting that final figure so yeah let's get stuck into doing some stuff to try and help this out now What's going on over here? People are complaining a little bit. Not enough buyers for our products. And you've been abandoned. Let's just check the traffic here at the moment. This was... Yeah, this was building up a little bit. Uh, I had a few people say about how this is... Yeah, I've had a few comments as well. People don't necessarily understand uh, how the game works. Uh, people saying that there's been complaints. Uh, that's not enough customers. What are we looking for? When they say they can't get enough products, it's not because all of this is set up as... Uh, like a forestry industry that's fine they will make the products that my shop sells so basically the shops will sell the products that are made if they need products that my city doesn't uh, supply then they will come from the outside we've got an outside cargo train line so we're all fine with that um so basically they're saying they need more customers so we've got this nice big area that's been built up here but not enough customers it may be the speed of the customers getting over because we're forcing them to use the ferry but we have been upgraded look we've been getting some high density here i think we need to get another section of high density in we did this last time oh suddenly they're happy for some reason <laughs> i didn't actually do anything <clears throat> Man, my voice is sounding weird today. Um, someone was asking, how do I get rid of... Here we go, the areas here, like this. Uh, there we go, right-click. So select. I'm selecting whichever one I want. But if you right-click, it will remove. There we go, and then left-click paints it in. So it's dead easy to do it quickly. There we go, and you can like go over whole areas. I'm trying to be careful, not get the ones I don't want. As long as you don't get that, as long as you just keep to the ones that you do want to get rid of, when you're painting it in, you can just paint it everywhere. It's not going to, like here, it's not going to paint over the blue. It's only going to do the empty ones. So that is the way that I do it. Uh, let's carry on getting rid of all of these. All of this, I'm going to take that as well. That one there. Yep, all of this is going to become high density everywhere. We're going to try and get as many people in because the more people that we have in, the more people are using our ferries. I mean, it sounds obvious, doesn't it? But, man, we're really, <laughs> we're really scything down our city at the moment, aren't we? The population is going to plummet. Okay, let's fill this in a bit quick before everybody starts complaining too much. Well, they're not going to complain because they don't live here anymore, do they? They can complain wherever they live now. Let's get that. There we go. Let's get all of this over here. Some of these buildings that are hanging around, they're my police stations and stuff, in case you're wondering. Bum, 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 bum. I think... I think that is everything there. Let's have a quick... There's a couple there, a couple there. There we go. I think that's everything. Yep, that side. We've got these. Oh, what's that there? Facility empty. Where's that one? Oh, it's this one here. There we go. That's fine. Let's stop that empty in there. Excellent. That will help. Shall we carry on and do some more? What are we up to? 27,000. People are still moving in. And we have a great need for more industry as well. We may need to fill in some more roads here to help get our industry. Now, I want to do another road connection. 
to down here. Because at the minute, these are leaving that road. Yeah, they're all trying to get over here to this cargo train station. And it's getting a bit chock-a-block. Um, what could we do to try and assist with that? There isn't really much, is there? It's quite a small, thin road. I mean, it's all it's moving. It's just this one down the middle here is getting quite fat. Do you know what we're going to do? I think we're going to upgrade this one down the middle. Did I say getting quite fat? Uh, I don't know why I said that. It's getting quite chock-a-block. I want to upgrade this one down the middle. Uh, let's do this. It's going to get rid of some of those buildings. It will mean there's more roads. Uh, what have we got there? A sauna. Let's move the sauna over there. There we go. Shall I do these ones as well? Because they're coming in there to go down there to go over here. And let's... Oh, I can't do that one. Um, yeah, I might leave that one as it is. Shall I do that one there so I can get out? I'll do that one there. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that will get things moving a bit smoother. Ideally, I would have liked to increase this one as well. <clears throat> but, hey-ho... Ideally, this should be a roundabout. That would actually be much better, wouldn't it? Can I just make this a one-way roundabout? Do you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Uh, do we have one-way roads in this size? No, we don't. Uh, let's do... Highway. If we go like that... How's that going to affect things? Let's just keep an eye on that. Hopefully... That'll be okay. And then what we can do is we can set this as a priority road all the way around. There we go. Let's have a look at that. Let's see. So as that goes round, we don't want stops there. We don't want stops there. Don't want stops there. Don't want traffic lights there. That should be it. So this sort of mini pretend false roundabout should have priority of everything else. So that should keep things moving. Hopefully that should help. Yeah, I think so. We'll see how... Yeah, definitely there's less traffic down there now. Good. Okay. That's looking much better to me. Let's add in some more roads over here. Oh, we'll do this one down the middle. How far can we go? What have we got here? That needs to move. Sorry, folks. There we go. That's not the road one. Here we go. Let's attach this. Oh, I want that to come straight and then into there somehow. Yeah. Where was that power line going? Oh, that's going across to this side. I think that's got numerous connections. We should be okay, but just in case. Let's go like that. Good, good. And then we can fill some roads off the side of this. And then we should be good to go. So let's have that. Oh, it's because of the junction. Okay, we'll go there. Let's go out as far as we can. Oh, I'm loving the new road tools. I really do. Saves... Oh, I've just drawn over the thing, haven't I? It saves so much time. There we go. Let's pop that in for the third time. And let's fill this in with industry. I'm going to use this tool this time. There we go. We want all of that. All of that, but not that. Zip, zip, zip. There we go. Somebody moved in just before I managed to say no. Hopefully they've all got water already. More or less. There we go. I don't want anything down this main road. Although, actually, I may as well have stuff down this main road because the road doesn't go anywhere, does it? So let's fill that in. I didn't realise I had some, some of these empty. Let's get those in. There we go. Uh, let's have that as a shop. Excellent. There we go. What's the needs at the moment? More commercial. How are we doing here? 200,000. Oh man, we are so close to hitting this. They're still needing more people to move in. I think this is the... If this starts building up more... I mean, we could have some people living over here. I think that would probably help as well. I mean, that's not going to... Let's put some high... Do you know what we do? We're going to put some more commercial over here. Let's get that section there. Let's get all of this here. Whoa, what's that? We've just reached. I clicked the button. Ah, 30,000. Excellent. We get cargo harbours and harbours. Well, we're probably not actually going to need to use those. 
There we go. I did want to test whether people traveling on a harbor count towards this overall figure that we're trying to reach, but it'd probably be quite hard to actually test that now that we've got... There we go. Aha, quick sip of tea to lubricate the old vocal cords. Maybe let's get... Let's get some people moving in down here as well, just so they're a bit closer. Uh, what have I done there? Oh yeah, that's okay. Let's get some high density. I don't know whether these are going to be happy to move in down here. This is probably going to be a little bit noisy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out. I'm going to make this offices. There we go. Hopefully to block. Block the sound. I'm going to do the same with that. And I'm going to do the same with this. Sorry that you've just moved in there, but... Yeah, this is all becoming offices. <laughs> there we go. If I could line that up correctly. There we go. That's easier. And then if we have... Let's have those go right up to the road. Oh, no, that's fine. And then if we take these ones out, and we'll make all of this high density down here. Zip like that. And we'll see if anybody wants to move in there. Hopefully they do. And that might just stop them worrying so much about having not enough customers. I mean, we're growing like mad. I think it's just the fact it's taking people so long to come over. Oh, Tottenham Hotspurs at White Hot Lane, or Lake City FC, uh, as they're known, um, have won their last three games, which is excellent. 1-3, lost 0. And what were these things we could put in here? High security staff, keep crime low. We don't have a crime problem. Oh, that was right. We're going to spend money... On this that was going to cost far too much money wasn't it so we didn't do that one so oh i like that good good so we're gaining money from our football stadium our cargo trains going okay around there how are we doing down here for growth a lot of people have moved in yeah it's going okay it's going okay
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the city. I thought we'd just take a look at all the different parks that we've uh, built together along the way. I have really enjoyed doing this scenario. It's been really good to dive into something different. Um, I was mentioning about the harbours, whether they counted towards... Um, that's funny, we've got the outside ring showing up there when the lights were on, never noticed that before. Uh, whether that counts towards the figure that we're trying to hit here of 250,000 people. If you can actually look, let's grab... This is the one here, isn't it? Harbour, yeah. You need to put it where there's an outside connection. The only place is right down here, so you would have had to expand it again to get down here. In fact, we can expand, can't we? So yeah, we don't actually need to do that because we are so close to hitting that figure. Let's just speed the game up a bit. We're at 222,000 almost. Let's just hang on a sec and we're about to hit the 250,000 mark. Well, this is interesting. All of my ferries have all decided at the same time <laughs> to go back to the depot. I suddenly wondered where they'd all disappeared to. And they're all here. Look. <laughs> all of my ferries have all come back to the depot at the same time. <laughs> Good grief. We're never going to hit this target, people. Get out there. We've only got, like, less than 4,000 people to go. Oh, my goodness, you're struggling for power because, of course, we have some of our power is solar panels. Ah, uh, yes, okay. That's not very good. Oh, and some of our oil power plants are not getting the oil that they need. That's why I put some new coal power plants in, and they're not getting the power that they need. Excellent. Well, let's let's hope we hit the target today so more people aren't without power overnight. I tell you what we could do to assist with that. Let's take a look at our policies. Uh, we can enact the power usage, conserve power. There we go. Uh, smoke detector distribution. Eh, we might as well. We, we've got like 1.3 million whatevers in the bank. So let's increase our parks. Yep, make everybody really happy. Let's just put everything on that's extra insulation. No electricity for heat. Uh, I don't think we've got coldness and stuff here anyway. So that should be fine. Good, good. Let's see. Are these ferries all going out now? Are they all going back to where they should be going? They are. They're now all stuck. <laughs> Picking up the same people from the roots. I suppose they'll spread out again eventually. <laughs> and there we go. We've done it. The ferry empire is at its height. Well done. Now, Lake City dwellers can easily travel on the waters. Quarter of a million people transported using ship. Population over 25,000. That is absolutely fantastic. And if we just have a look down here. Can I come out of that menu? Oh, no, come on. Where are they? There we go. This person here walking down the street. <laughs> I can't select them. I was going to select somebody who was walking down the street. Who was our... There we go. There we go. This person here. Was our quarter of a millionth customer on the ferry. Rosemary Gray, an educated teen. Well done. Going off to high school. Very fitting, very fitting. Well, there we go. <laughs> oh, grief. That's very wiggly, isn't it? There we go. We have reached the target that we were set at. What have we actually finished out on? 35,000. I don't suppose we're going to get a figure above 250,000. No, there we go. That went really well. Guys, thank you very much for your help in uh, getting this all working well. I really enjoyed this scenario. Tomorrow... We are going to take a look at the other scenario, the last one that was added in to this new mass transit DLC. And that is basically a blank map. We've got to transport people via trains. I'm assuming that might include monorails as well. I hope so. But that is going to be good fun. So be sure to hit the uh, big B with a T-stain to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out uh, with that tomorrow. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed this one. I hope you did. It's been a fantastic little mini-series. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be less croaky as well. We'll see. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.